My name is Max Nijpels. I work for the Expertise Center of Additive Manufacturing at the Royal Netherlands Navy. We are located in Den Helder, uh, and right now we are sitting inside one of our containers which is used for ground-based missions. So about four years we started out to introduce 3D printing inside the Navy. Uh, right now we've come up to the point where there is almost a 3D printer on every ship. Having a 3D printer on board reduces the amount of parts you have to take with you. It allows you to print the parts on demand. The fact that we can print with high performance materials on Thompson's machines allows us to print parts that have to be a lot stronger or stiffer than regular PLA or PETG can do. On board of ships we use a lot of these uh, valve wheels and during repairs, modifications or just regular maintenance it can happen that these things get lost. Uh, this part was printed on, uh, in Thomson's 410. The material is, uh, is very strong, it's fire resistant and it can uh, withstand uh, temperatures uh, up to 150 degrees without issue. The 3D printer allows us to make uh, one of these on board of a ship. Uh, we 3D scan the arm and then a surgeon either on board of the ship or in the Netherlands can look at it. The person that is wounded, he can wear this uh, and still do other duties. Yeah, we've been using these machines for about two years now. The things we've noticed is that they are very reliable. They have a high success rate when we print with them. And the machine is also uh, very robust. It has no issues when we take it uh, with our container to other countries and even when we arrive, the, the bed is still leveled. I think in the future we will see even increased part count that can be 3D printed.